What is going on guys, my name is Vito the Dawn of Halo, of course, bringing you guys a Halo Reach gameplay commentary. Now, I know this may be unwanted, or it may seem foul, but it's been almost a month since Halo 4 was released, and I thought I'd do a comparison between the f between the two, between Halo 4 and Halo Reach, over this Team Zero Bloom Slayer countdown game. I go, I think I get like 15 kills, something like that, I do pretty well in this game, um, but that's not going to be the point, so I'm going to be comparing Halo Reach and Halo 4. Now obviously Halo 4 is the better game and is the most preferred and the more preferred game of choice just because of the playlist and stuff like that. But I'm still going to be comparing the two. Now, the reason why I kind of missed Halo Reach was because it was very YouTube friendly. It was very very easy to get gameplays mainly because of the overpoweredness of the power weapons. Um like for example on Countdown, which is a great example, uh the shotgun and the sword, you'll see me use the shotgun constantly in this game, and even with the sword as the most used power weapon on countdown, uh, I still prefer it over the, or I still prefer the shotgun over the sword, just because of its reliability. Now, the playlist in Halo 4, um, the playlists really aren't that great, besides a few, a few playlists, Team Slayer Pro is by far one of my favorites, uh, King of the Hill is one of my favorites, Oddball is my favorite, game type in Halo 4, um, mainly because Infinity Slayer, it just feels too, uh, I hate using this phrase, but it, it feels too COD-like, it feels like, uh, you know, something that I would go and play at, in, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops or something like that, well, not Black Ops, because Black Ops was good, um, it just feels too COD-like, um, I think it's just changed a little bit too much in Infinity Slayer, um, in Halo Reach, it was just Team Slayer, Boom, I mean, yeah, Bloom kind of ruined everything um, in a lot of playlists, but it just feels like Halo Reach had the perf had the better set of playlists. Um, you know, with Team Objective, Team Squad Slayer, um, even though they took that out, Team Zero Bloom Slayer, you know, all these great playlists that were in Halo Reach. Um, now the maps in Halo Reach, I kind of prefer them over Halo 4. Now, granted, there are a, full, a few Halo 4 maps that... Uh, that I prefer over Halo Reach, like uh, I prefer Haven and Abandon over, let's say, Countdown and Sword Base. But from what we have now, um, I know Halo 4, 343 is going to be incorporating, I think, Forge maps within the next few months um, uh, within Halo 4. So we're going to be getting a lot more maps. So I can't really give an accurate assumption. I may, may make a follow-up video when those Forge maps come out. But at, the, at this point, I do believe Halo Reach has the better maps. Um, for example, you know, Asylum is a great map, uh, Sanctuary is a great map, um, I thought Countdown was a great map, I don't know why everyone hated it, um, it had a lot of choke, choke points where you guys can get kills, uh, and it had a lot of power weapon control, and if you didn't control that, those power weapons, it kind of, you know, resulted in you losing the game, so it really, uh, really focused on getting those power weapons and holding, holding the lead, um, so I think that Halo Reach has had by far the better map so far um so the core gameplay now let's go back two or three years ago when halo reach first came out the core gameplay was terrible we all know this so the core gameplay of halo 4 is much much better obviously um bloom really did break halo reach i know um a lot of people have said that in the past but it really is true halo 4 or halo reach the bloom really did break make or break um if you would play the game or not uh, Halo 4 has done a great job with the recoil system. Um, I don't like uh, the how you can't get knocked out of scope, though. That's the one thing I do prefer in the previous Halos, or Halo Reach and Halo 3. Um, that you can get knocked out of scope if you get hit uh, in scope. You know, In Halo 4, you can't get knocked out of scope, and usually if you get hit, the reticle will jump, and then you'll completely lose your sense of awareness, and you'll completely lose you know, where you are, pretty much. That's the only thing I don't like about the Halo 4 gameplay, or core gameplay, I should say. Um, so, why all the hate over the last two or three years in Halo Reach, why did we all still play it? Um, obviously, there is some sort of love for Halo Reach, whether you want to admit it or not. Deep down inside, we all know we all love Halo Reach, or at least like Halo Reach, or else, uh, you know we wouldn't have played it for the past two years um why did you guys play it pretty much um even though we all knew it was broken that it needed things to be fixed we had a faith in bungie and 343 to fix this game before halo 4 or even before we knew there was going to be a halo 4 
You know, we all enjoyed Halo Reach. We all could have gone back, played Halo 3, gone back and played Halo 2 PC, or just not have played Halo at all. So, why did you guys, you know, enjoy playing Halo Reach? You know, it's obviously done something to make you want to play it over the last two or three years. So, now, how Halo 4 improved from Reach, to be honest, if... If we didn't have a Halo Reach, I don't think we would have had the Halo 4 we have now. Halo 4 is a great, great game. Now, if we didn't have Halo Reach to set precedent for all the problems and like everything, like all the problems with the Bloom, all the problems with the playlist um, previously, and all the weapon imbalances and all the map limitations, if we didn't have Halo Reach to set precedent to precedent to improve from Halo 4. Halo 4 would be a much, much different game. I believe that Halo 4 would have been the Halo Reach if, uh, you know, Halo Reach wasn't Halo Reach. Um, you know, Halo 4 would have had all the bugs and all the glitches. It still has bugs and glitches, even with the uh, constant community manager support, uh, constant support by 343. There are still the glitches in the game, um, which will be fixed. And I, I believe that this strict watching of... Uh, you know, Halo 4 is because of Halo Reach. So I like to thank Halo Reach a lot for, you know, setting precedent uh, for all these, you know, it, all these issues that need to be touched on. And then hopefully Halo 4 won't become what Halo Reach is now or what, what it was before today. So I know this was kind of weird. Um, if you guys are looking for a Halo 4 video, my Road to 50, number 7. We'll be uploading exactly at the same time as this one. Also, my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, I just started it over on my Let's Play channel. So, hope you guys go check that out, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.